Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we build with the second part the pinhole camera Pinhof 9x12 out of wood. After entering the local hardware store you just follow the part list which is provided in the download and grab all the parts you need like aluminium profile, washers and for sure getting the wood. Choose the wood you like, just remember to take it 6mm thick and ask the people to make all the cuts for you. Back home in your workshop I propose to lay down all the wooden parts, mark them that you will recognize them later on and step by step we start now to produce the parts. Let's start with the side. Just follow the detailed drawing which will also provide it on the block. Then we do with this washer we take as a reference for the small radius on the top. The next part is the front part. The front part has uh, the big hole in the middle where we will put the pinhole on. This will be followed by the bottom to make sure that we can insert the small part of aluminium. This is from the aluminium profile which will be cut later on and then fits perfectly in this small hole. Maybe the most complex part will be the film support plate where we later on put the film holder against. So there you need to do very accurate your outcuts for final sewing all these outcuts. This is already the top part which includes also a round leveler which will be an update later on. Taking the front for a second time and now inserting the washer. So the washer is uh, one and a half, two millimeters thick. So we just drill with a diameter fitting drill the hole and insert the washer. Afterwards drilling a bigger hole to place the pinhole on the middle in the final end. In this time I try to use only very simple tools. So just taking a jigsaw uh, and cutting all the rest of the wood, which is done here as you see in the smaller dimensions like for the top part and also for the film support plate we just use again a jigsaw and cut it out. As you see it is no need to use heavy tools but for sure if you have them use them which maybe make your life easier. Here again a cutting of the aluminium profile, rounding the edges, filing down the plane areas. Finally cut out the insert for the aluminium plate which will give us the width stand for the tripod. So this fits perfectly by the dimensions given in the drawing. Let's mark the middle Mark it again, drill a small hole, use some spirit for drilling and then finally do the thread for your tripod thread. Mark again with some spirit drilling for the final fixation with some small screws it down. Some sanding of all the wooden parts will help. This is now the Linho film holder and we, the, and we see this nose here and this is important because this, this has to fit to this camphor. So we do a filing to create a very small camphor here on the film plate holder where we later on will fix as we see here the film plate holder in position. This has finally to be adjusted with the top part. All the parts should be now available. After sanding and again sanding maybe uh, make sure that the next step is the painting. Tape everything which should be not painted and I decided to use a black spray paint to keep all the inside of the camera in black. It is not wrong doing this two times or three times, 
just let the paint dry in between. This is now just a cross check if the whole of the pinhole front element is also in the center of the film hole plate and we will see that it works quite good. Similar picture as before and then I will use two angle clamps to fix the wood parts while screwing them together. This is a quite good tool to have kind of third hand available and makes life really easy. Just take sure that everything is aligned, drill a small hole for fitting the screw later on. Do a small camphor here. Using screws 3x12 or 3x20, whatever is available as long as it is double the length than the wood thickness. After that I have to choose the right color, so I used what I have available in my workshop, darker brown and a lighter brown. So finally I will decide for the brighter one. Here already I start just after I put everything together. I did this by three layers, let it dry in between and paint again after sanding. Now I put everything in, this is the bottom, the second part for the bottom fixate it and start screwing the aluminium plate for the tripod. That is one of the reasons that I have two of these plates, one on the bottom and one on the top, that you can screw something from each of these sides. So just checking the dimensions after putting the film plate in place, then here's the part with the top part. So this should fit now to this corner we had in the beginning where we added the camphor on the top level. Now is our first test to implement the film holder, which works quite well. And so we can do as next part the shutter. Shutter again with our jigsaw positioning as best as we can if everything fits well and then mark the area where we put the next screw to fix the shutter. Next two parts are these small wooden parts which keep then the round wood stick in place and press this one then against the film holder. And this will be our locking mechanism to make sure that there is no light coming from the back inside the camera. It keeps it stable in place. Open the shutter, wonderful, and close. Same on the back, opening and closing, take it out, turn if needed to the next picture and put it in again. Very simple principle. The next big part is creating the pinhole. I use therefore a T-Lite and the aluminium frame around, which is for me a thin material but still stiff. So the first I mark out the washer, which will be the final pinhole, because first I need to do some tests about how to do the pinhole. So therefore I will use several needles, as you can see, a bigger one and a smaller one, and do some test tryouts. Pressing hard, pressing soft, sanding. In this case I didn't press through, I just take a ball pen, sand it again and 
slightly press with the needle just to find out what would be maybe the best to reach my target reach my target value my target value for the pinhole diameter is 0.331 millimeters so how to prove it the best is you do a scanner system here so just scan it have a leveler in between so that you know what is one millimeters reference i did this with powerpoint just create a line and measure the distance this is a special needle made for shirts and this one is smaller in the top than the others so i did it here again with sending with all the variants how to do and I come closer to my target but still I want to have a round one so just creating a hole is not big enough so you want also to have a hole with a round hole without sharp edges in between so therefore I scanned again and here we see 0.3 the top one is the very best and the lower one is also not that bad so finally I decided to do the pinhole as following Just mark the center area. By visual inspection try to find the center. This could be done for sure better. I think uh, one millimeters plus or minus is not that critical. Then I slightly pressed, it's a very slightly pressing into the aluminium from both sides and try to equalize the sharp edges of the round hole. A bit of sanding, take away the burr, adding some 90 degrees lines on the washer helped me to exactly position and fix the pinhole with the glue onto the washer, which is done now. And now it's the same procedure. Now we fit again the washer into the hood and so we have a wonderful, perfect match of the center of the pinhole and the camera. So now here we see the very very first test I did with a Fumapan film, black and white. I leveled still with my phone, which is an improvement for the next optimizations on this camera. I had some 80 seconds development time just right out of the window, opening the film area with still very carefully it's my first time opening the shutter wait the dedicated time it's 19 seconds close and insert the dark slide for sure I was now interested in did I reach my focal length target was 25 millimeters around so I did with my full frame camera some same pictures out of the same position and finally I found that the planned focal length of 25 millimeters fits exactly to the pinhole so the calculation was correct here's the same picture in portrait mode and for sure there are some other things so fix light leaks upgrade with the leveler upgrade the shutter stop using film and paper and finding the right ISO for the paper, which is interesting for me as I would like to shoot more with paper. So stay tuned, try to catch the next part, which will come soon. Hope to see you soon. Stay and uh, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget this, this makes me happy.